Hello friends, welcome to the video number 37 for the Visual Basic for Applications in Excel series and well in this video we're gonna see a very simple example of how to use the do events um, to avoid that Excel freezes our computer due to a lengthy execution of a macro and well here basically for example what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna be writing numbers into the status bar. Uh, so something very, very simple. My computer has been doing that lately. I don't know why it's not uh, updating my status bar. There it is. Let's try it one more time. Okay, now you can see it. It's uh, updating the numbers and up all the way up to 6,000. But for example, when you saw how it, it uh, displayed that not responding, you can see that uh, spinning circle right there. I can click uh, on Excel and nothing happened. Now again, it's like not responding. But when it finishes the macro, I, I got uh, my, my Excel and my computer basically responding again. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just activate this or write this do events. I guess I shouldn't say that it's a keyword. I mean, it's not turning blue like all the rest, but well, it do its job, right? So just click again. Now you can see I don't have that spinning circle. And if I click, I actually get response from Excel. It's getting updated. Now you can probably see that the execution of a macro is a little bit slower. And well, yeah, uh, what it's happening basically, uh, not to get too technical, but let's say that uh, Excel is passing the control of the execution to Windows back again so that Windows can make any other pending tasks. So instead of having Excel just uh, controlling and grabbing all the resources of the computer, Again, it just like passes back to Windows and then get it back again and continue running the macro until it reaches the do events again. So another thing you can do, for example, is uh, in this kind of examples, when you have it inside of a loop, you can use something like an if and use the modulus operator. And for example, every thousand uh, cycles, right then run the do events so let's try it you can see i get the spinning circle but then it goes away after the first 1000 i can click and every time a thousand passes then i get response let's just do it one more time okay so that's basically what the do events uh, again does uh, so well you can use it as you saw uh, to try to avoid having your uh, the execution of a lengthy macro to freeze excel or probably some other programs in your computer okay just again use it with a little uh, be careful because if you put it inside of a again of a loop it's gonna slow considerably the execution of your macros but well there it is and well i hope again as always that you find this information useful so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, share and like the video and in the next video video 38 we're going to see how to use the input box to get information from our user so it's going to be very nice and i hope to see you on video 38